Hey guys, I hope you're all enjoying PGIS so far. Every day has had incredible matches, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. If you're looking for even more ways to get into the action, don't miss out on the Pick'em Challenge. And if you don't know what the PGIS Pick'em Challenge is already, let's check it out. All throughout the PGIS, you can earn eSport points for participating in different events. Every week, there's an event for guessing the top four in the weekly final, and for guessing the winner of the Survival Tournament, which is a special event that will be held from March 5th to March 7th. Anyone can join and participate since this event is an open vote. And just FYI, you can earn up to 50,000 EP if your prediction is correct. So don't forget to check it out. Of course, you can also buy the coupon bundle too. And there are even more ways to get your vote in and win EP. So first, you can get one free vote every week just from checking out the PGIS Esports tab. Also, during the PGIS Weekly Survival Broadcast, we'll be giving out votes at random times. But you gotta remember that this code is first come, first serve, so you have to be watching for your chance to vote. The codes are also released during the weekly final on the weekends. The only difference from the weekly survival is that there's no limit on the quantity so everyone can vote. FYI, the maximum EP you can get during PGIS is 80,000 points, so see how close you can get. What's that? You wanted another event? <laughs> well, check this out. Every other week, there's the weekly kill point MVP event, which will happen on weeks one, three, and five. Don't worry, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is guess the team that will receive the most kill points during that week. Then there's the weekly chicken winner event, on weeks two, four, and six, that is slightly more difficult. There, you have to guess which teams will win the chicken dinner for each of the 10 matches of the corresponding weekly final. If you're right, you can win up to 25,000 EP, so don't miss it. But don't forget that if a team wins a chicken dinner more than once, you don't get double prizes. Want to check out the status of the Pick'em Challenge? Well, first, let's take a look at the predictions for the weekly final top four. Currently, Damwon, Kia, Sonics, 4AM, and Gen.G are the top four teams in the weekly final top four. The number may vary a little when this is shown on air, but according to the last day of the weekly survival, Damwon Kia received over 217,000 votes. Among those, Damwon Kia received over 30% of the support alone. And of course, it's a little sad for Damwon Kia fans since they didn't make it to the weekly final, but aren't they just going to use that motivation for next time? The number of votes for Sonics is also just as amazing. The gap between Damwon Kia until day four of the Pick'em Challenge was actually pretty big. However, the number of votes increased as time went on. And in just one day, you showed an incredible amount of support by voting 59,441 times for Sonics. This is the highest increase among all 32 teams. We should also pay attention to the votes for 4AM, the eternal boss of China. 4AM has received 97,089 votes, and the number of votes is actually more than all other five Chinese teams combined. You can really see the fans' trust in 4AM's popularity and performance. Next, I'm going to show you some of the most interesting results. This is the voting status for all eight regions. Korea received the most votes, North America and China each got a similar number of votes, and although Europe's number of votes is much lower than the other three regions, the number of votes and actual results is not directly connected. Among Southeast Asia, Latin America, Japan, and Chinese Taipei, the Southeast Asian region received the most number of votes. Regardless of whether they advanced or not, you can really see that the fans loved their aggressive plays. So what should we look at next? Let's check out the teams who advanced to the weekly final and the weekly kill point MVP. Sonics is in first place for the weekly kill point MVP prediction. It's almost twice as much as Damwon Kia, who is in second place. And definitely pay attention to Shoot to Kill and Infantry. After locking in their spots in the weekly final, the overall number of votes for both of these teams has gone way up. They caught up with Tianba Esports, while Tianba Esports was stagnant in receiving votes. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how these changes will affect the result. 
So, among teams that showed these great performances in the weekly survival, who's going to win the weekly final? Let's take a look at the candidates. The first team that we have to look at no matter what is Sonics. They won the chicken dinner in the first match of Ranked Decision Day 1 and became the final winner of the Ranked Decision. And not just that, they straight up advanced to the weekly final after winning the chicken dinner in the first game of the weekly survival. What's really amazing is that Huynh stood out as much as or even more than Tingleton who has proved himself over and over in PCSNA. Of course, Mime and Shrimzy did their parts as well, especially in Sonic's chicken dinner match. Shrimzy won $10,000 and became the first graduated team by winning that last 1v1. It was an incredible moment that made headlines all over the community sites and honestly it's easy to see while they're receiving so much support. If Sonics is a strong team representing North America, then you can see that Team Liquid is leading the charge for the European region. It's hard to say that their results were great in the ranked decision since they placed 16th three times. But everything changed in the weekly survival. They got their mojo back, placed second once, fourth twice, and seventh. And they finally advanced to the weekly final in the fifth match. We have to pay attention to Jeems on Team Liquid. If you leave this player alone, he's going to put up more than 700 damage in a single game. And if Jeems goes wild, I think the weekly final will be over already. But in PGIS, China hasn't quite lived up to its powerhouse reputation. But infantry is built different. To put it bluntly, their combat power is insane. Starting with their youngest player, Nine, Longsker and Chao Yang are showing off some crazy firepower. And interestingly, out of all of the Chinese teams, they seem to be the most patient. In fact, if you watch their chicken dinner game in the weekly survival match, they had zero kills until 23 minutes. But when the game ended, they scored 11 kills and won a chicken dinner. So they totally understand the rule of the weekly survival that winning chicken dinner means everything. Gen G was the first team to advance to the weekly final among the Korean teams. But the going was tough every step of the way. They had to play 13 weekly survival games. When they were eliminated in the 12th match at 15th place, Gen G's third day schedule seemed pretty impossible. But in the 13th match, Gen G occupied the church and graveyard and fought off every other team who were trying to break into that location. Genji's last crisis was probably when Venatica from Daytrade Gaming knocked out Loki. But Genji managed to save Loki until the very end and become the first Korean team to advance to the weekly final after defeating Enterforce 36. Teams like Digital Athletics, LG Divine, and Tiamba Esports, who played in all three days of the weekly survival, revealed their lack of concentration but attack all around didn't have to worry about that at all. The final moment of the 14th match in the first week's weekly survival was a one-on-one -on -one between Skichuke from Ents and Gems from Attack All Around. And Gems dominated by eliminating Ents and advancing to the weekly final in just two games. It's pretty fair to say that they're in pretty good condition compared to the other teams who have had to play a ton of games. Now, who's the last team that we're going to look at? That's right, it's FaZe Clan, who took the last plane ticket to the weekly final. In the weekly survival, where winning chicken dinner is all that matters, FaZe Clan really struggled to show up. In a total of eight games, from the eighth match to the 15th match, they placed 15th three times, 14th once, and 13th twice. Until one day, when all that changed, right before match 16. In the final moment against Zenith, Uba got a crazy knock onto Shinboy, even though he was in such a rough spot. Eventually, in the end, the first week of the weekly survival ended when FaZe Clan advanced to the first weekly final of PGIS at the very last chance. It was like re-witnessing the miraculous moments they showed in the last match of the PGC 2019 semifinals. You know what I mean, right? Now, it's time for you to make your decision. And even if you voted to cheer on your team, you still have chances left. 
don't forget that the deadline of the Pick'em Challenge is on Saturday at 7 p.m. Korean Standard Time. When? Of course now. If there's anyone who hasn't voted yet, be sure to tune in to PUBG after this video. I hope you're looking forward to the weekly finals results. So don't forget to use your right to vote and come out to show your support. Of course, we don't know who will be the winner for the weekly final, but that's the fun part. Your vote is going to mean a lot to that team. And don't be disappointed if your prediction doesn't go the way you want it to. The Pick'em Challenge has only just begun. See you next week, guys.